Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of my Let's Play series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Guys, thank you so much once again for all of the support you guys have been showing this series. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with three, maybe four thousand likes per episode, that would be absolutely beautiful. Now, you join me here doing a whole bunch of terraforming on the right-hand side of the world. Now, as you guys may remember, we have a large world going on here, so we're going to have ourselves a lot of of terrain management stuffs to do uh, in future but I, I figured you know what you know this is a this is a pretty manageable sized area right just to the right of the dungeon so why not go ahead and make a bit of a start the earlier we make a start on those things then I guess the better it's gonna be oh another kite yeah all right, we've got a die trader now. Fan freaking tastic. So another reason we're going ahead and doing this is because I would very much like to get myself a pylon network set up. Now, on this world, more than ever, I think that having pylons is going to be a crucial, crucial thing. I really, really do. Because, you know, it's a large world. Being able to teleport in a large world is going to be enormous it's gonna be a freaking massive thing for us it really is guys so i'm excited i'm excited but uh, the main focal point of today's episode is actually going to be the beach on the right hand side now as we go over there uh, you guys are going to notice I've already done a whole bunch of terraforming and planning and various other things. And yeah, guys, we are hopefully going to be making ourselves another beach town. So similar to my uh, 1.3.5 Let's Play before, we're going to make ourselves another beach town. We're going to make it look amazing. We're going to hopefully use some 1.4 blocks. But uh, for now, my friends, all we are doing is we are going ahead and just trying to uh, terraform our world a little bit. So that's going to be the first thing we do today. After that, we might just begin building in our new beach town oh what the hey oh okay so that's still a thing in 1.4 this guy could just totally randomly spawn in out of absolutely freaking nowhere wow <laughs> well this is unexpected huh all right well uh we're gonna have to do this uh Ooh. oh huh oh good he can't swim in the ocean <laughs> what a dumbo Okay, come on, baby. Just got to keep it going. Yeah, we just set up on fire like that, right? And then we go at it with the zapper. Right, so that's one hop. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, thank God I have double jump on this. Well, guys, I'd be so freaking screwed if not. All right, I'm going to need to hang on. Oh, God. He's come back. He's come way back. Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? It's good to see you. Maybe I should have a little bit of health. Maybe I should go to the ocean here real quick, huh? Yeah. You know what? This is actually a freaking easy way of doing this. I should have just done this in the first place. Like, just do it in the ocean. Like, this is hello easy, bro. Oh, wait. Where's he gone? Oh, no. He's still down there. <laughs> he can't do anything. What a... Ah! Okay. You son of a gun. Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you guys. I wasn't expecting to uh, take down King Slime today. But, uh, I mean, I'll take it. I, I'm never gonna complain about it. Oh! Woo! Okay, got about five seconds left. This guy's 100% about to TP to me. Oh! Yep, there he is. Okay, a little bit of health. Love to see it. There we go. And now I have no weaponry. Brilliant. So that's one hop. That's a big hop. Okay. No! Son of a gun! You're not doing that to me again, sir. Come on. You freaking suck, bro. I have low end weapons. No! No, you can't do that to me. Oh, God, I'm so nearly dead. All right, all right. Come on, do your TP thing. There you go. Okay. I'm so nearly dead. I so don't want to die. Don't... Oh, don't let me die. Please. Please. Okay, come on, baby. Come on. Dude. Oh, thank God. There we go. A little bit of health back. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's only normal mode for crying out loud. There we go. We got him out of the game. We even got a trophy. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, well, uh, yeah, that was a thing. Wow, a ninja hood. I mean, it's got to be, it's better than defense. It's better defense than we've got, right? So why would I not take that? Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've gone from the most massive slime in the entire world to the tiniest slime in the entire world. From big to small, guys. From big to small. 
All right, what do you guys think? If I get a slime staff in this let's play, I'm going to be so mad because, you know, the, the drop chances in master mode would be buffed compared to this. Don't do it to me, Terraria. Don't do it. Just don't, okay? I mean it. Please don't. I'm going to be so sad. Oh, thank goodness. For once, I'm glad I didn't get it. <laughs> Holy crappers. I didn't even realize I got a freaking slime hook. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that. There's like a Chinese lantern thing going on behind me. That's cool. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but uh, 1.4 night times just seem more magical now. You know? Even when you've got freaking demon eyes flying all over the place trying to kick that little butt of yours. Yeah. I just love this. The whole background shenanigans stuff going on here. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And how about it, ladies and gentlemen? We've got ourselves a really nice area here now, which is primed to be built upon. I mean, just look at it. We've got torches underneath the grass here. Uh, the lake is nicely terraformed now, so it's a slightly more natural curved shape. And uh, we're just about ready to go ahead and maybe build something on top of here eventually. We could have like a little tiny floating island of our own. You know, we could custom build one. That'll be pretty cool. But today's episode, guys, I want to focus more on the beach town and trying to get myself a beach pylon. That is right, my friend. So, uh, we're going to need to, uh, you know, get our skates on because, as you can see, our inventory is just totally jacked up. Like, there is just way too much crud right here. And uh, I need to do something about it, huh? And I want to make sure I don't accidentally wind up using the freaking magic mirror. Otherwise, I won't be so sad. I don't want to be sad, okay? I want to be a happy boy. I want to be a happy boy. All right. So, uh, I mean, for the most part... What I'd like to do is I'd like to build a bunch of houses, but then still have a bunch of palm trees on top of them. So most of these are going to have like flat sanded roofs, right? So we're going ahead and building this little building up. As you can see, we've got some uh, saplings up the top there. They should hopefully grow into palm trees. Now, the good thing with palm trees is they don't actually require uh, that much horizontal space in between each sapling to grow. You can have them literally be right next to each other if you really wanted. But uh, yeah, I think maybe just a little bit of a random spread here and there I think would be really really nice so uh, let's see what else we got going on here we've got a couple chairs we could probably get some of those placed in okay and we can maybe get ourselves a palm wood lamp okay gotta love the lamp lamp meme gotta love it all right and then let's put you down there uh, we do have a furnace so I might go ahead and chuck that under the stairs. Uh-huh. Okay, what else do we have? We've got uh, lanterns. Could be pretty nice, right? Uh, could I... Oh. I mean, I guess I could put one there. I mean, that's going to be where I go ahead and fish, right? So we just uh, come out here. Whoop! There you go. Safe fishing. Ain't nobody ever coming through that little gap right there, my dudes. It's just not happening. ha <laughs> ha. All right, well, uh, I guess all we need to do now is just try and figure out the rest of the interior. Armor statue, fishing pole, enchanted nightcrawler. Uh, 160 mana. Do I have arcane anything? Oh, arcane. Okay, so that means I will have, what, 220 mana? So one, two, three, 220. Okay, so now at the maximum, uh, we can get away with making all of our bait into enchanted nightcrawlers now. Hey, you'd love to see it. Hey, and how about it then, guys? Here we are. We've pretty much got our first thing done here. And yeah, my inventory situation is really quite bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, as far as I can remember, is it the demolitionist who needs to move over here as well? Oh, man, I'm trying to remember from my master mode let's play. I mean, it is becoming nighttime, so it won't be too long before these guys wind up just spawning in here, right? Come on, baby, what we got? Okay, that's that. Was there anything else? No, doesn't look like it. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, I actually nearly died there. Okay, I've got to be kind of careful about that. Uh, right, was there another one? There is, there's one down here. Ooh, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Come on, baby. What you got? Sandcastle bucket. You gotta love it. There we go. More than anything, I just kind of wanted the... Uh, I, well, hey there, Star. How you doing there, broski? More than anything, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, get the chests so I could start placing them down. You know? <laughs> That would be a good idea, huh? All right, guys. So here we are. The first house is now officially done. We've got a nice safe place here to do a little bit of uh, ocean fishing, which I think is fantastic. Uh, let's check on the quest here. 
Ooh, Sky Lakes. I don't have any Sky Lakes that I found just yet. So, unfortunately, uh, we won't be getting to that today. Ah, turns out it's actually the golfer and the angler who like to live together at the ocean. Okay, so we need to go to the underground desert. Have we even found the golfer yet? No, we haven't. Okay, so, yeah. The underground desert is typically where I wind up uh, finding the golfer. So, I guess we're going to have to go exploring? If I want to get myself one of those uh, ocean pylon thingies. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to just walk all the way back here like a, like a freaking scrub, huh? Uh, so, one of you guys was saying that apparently there's an item that exists in the ocean that allows you to teleport to the ocean. And then someone was saying that it was the uh, ocean conch, which I haven't seen. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe... Wait, did we even explore the left-hand side ocean? Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, there's one chest over there. But I'm pretty sure we already explored it, right? Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. You know, 1.4, it's still a pretty new update, isn't it? So, you'll have to forgive me. Like, I don't even have a personal world when it comes to this. Like, me playing as I am on my Let's Plays is as far as I've gotten in 1.4 so far, guys. So, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Hey, where are these going to go to? Oh, hang on. Where are they going to? They normally go towards loot, right? I wonder if I could capture them. Is it possible? Oh! Oh my god, you can catch them! Hey! Listen! <laughs> oh, I love it! Oh, come on! He spawned again? What? Okay, okay, alright. I guess we're doing this again! Have they increased the spawn rate of King Slime? Is that a thing? You know what, honestly? I feel like using the, uh, ow, ow, son of a gun. I honestly feel like using this is the way to go. Wait, so, oh, 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 that was kind of, oh, oh, never mind. He's fine. He's fine, guys. Everything's fine. He doesn't even appear to be able to move. <laughs> oh, what a dumbo. Come on, then. Let's do this. Oh, this is easy, isn't it? You might be able to climb ropes now, but you can't get up to me. No ropes required. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be honest with you guys. When I put my socks on this morning, I wasn't expecting to uh, take down two naturally spawning king slimes. I was not expecting that to be a thing. But uh, apparently it is. Oh, here he comes. Here we go. Oh, I think he's getting a little bit mad now. I think he's getting a little bit mad. I mean, I would be as well if my AI was that dumb, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you off to there, broski? Where are you off to? <laughs> oh, going so soon. Going so soon. I thought we were having fun together, huh? Yeah, get out. Okay. And down he goes. Yay! Kill him! Kill him with fire! Literally! Ah! Okay. Oh, I hate it when he does that. That's, uh, that's a scumbag moving half, that is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, I knew he gonna, I knew he was gonna come up here. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked there, sir! Let's go, baby. Oh, okay. King Slime is out the game. Hey, we've got ninja pants. Another bit for our ninja armor. What do we got? Three percent increased crit chance. That's all it gives nowadays. Obviously, uh, back in the day, it would give you uh, throwing stats, right? But uh, now that throwing class isn't a thing, some of the early game armor sets received a little bit of an overhaul. Uh, most of them just do crit chance or just reduces the chances of taking up ammo. Uh, which is uh, actually pretty cool. I'm definitely down with that. So here's the thing about this little mining session I'm doing. I should not use a magic mirror or recall potion to get out of here because at this particular moment, I don't have the ability to spawn uh, back at the ocean, right? However, oh, please be 35. Oh, hell yeah. All right. That's literally all I needed, guys. But uh, if we have a bed and then we make ourselves, uh, you know, the spawn point over at the beach town, then yeah, we can go ahead and uh, spawn ourselves there, which is fantastic. Anyways, guys, check it out. There's the dungeon. Now, thankfully, nowadays, it's only if you actually go inside the dungeon down at this point that he would spawn in. Whereas back in the day, I'm pretty sure he would spawn in and kill you uh, even if you were just near. It, you know, which is why I was always scared before of uh, mining around this place. But, uh, well, as you can see, just doesn't seem to be much going on, huh? So that's pretty cool. Right, uh, there's a few cool things about this uh, this lightning rod, by the way. Uh, mostly lighting underwater 
it's pretty dang useful. Yes, it is. There's plenty of tungsten around there. And plenty of slimos inside the dungeon. Unfortunately, I can't get to them. Uh, hello. Anything going on down here? Huh? Anything I need to know about? I mean, looks like there's a little bit of a cave system down here. You never know what's down here. I might just do a bit of exploring down here. You never know, my friends. Look, there's another cave up there. Ooh, there could be all manner of things going on. Hey, looks like we've got some bamboo growing down here. How is that possible? I thought these... Oh, oh. Never mind. I thought it was bamboo from a jungle biome, but uh, never mind. It's not. It's just like little decorative reed type things. I wonder if you can use like a sickle to pick those things up. That'd be pretty cool, right? Some little decorative pond type stuff. Uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here. We're going to get ourselves a bed set up inside of the ocean house so we can at least set our spawn point there. And then it means that if we go caving again, then we should be able to, to just go ahead and spawn back of the ocean and then when we no longer need the ocean uh we can simply rid the spawn point there and then just go back to the center of the map right but i don't really want to do that until i have an ocean pylon right oh i need some of this because we're gonna need ourselves an anvil and uh, uh, a sawmill and all that kind of good stuff so yeah all right coolio nice one nice one all right so we're pretty much done down there so i'm gonna go and bar that back off a little bit there we go all right looking good um, would you look at that? All of the trees have grown. Oh, man, I'm super happy about that. So let's grab some coral real quick. Maybe a starfish. And uh, that is going to be the way in which I decorate this. There we go. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like that. I think that's a pretty nice roof design, you know. Kind of emphasizes the whole trees thing. I don't know why I decided to go for so many trees, but uh, uh, I did. <laughs> so, yep, that's a thing. All right, so there we go. 14 of those bad boys. We need to make ourselves a little anvil. Uh, can I? Uh, I mean, I could place it out there, but then we'd be restricted with the amount of... Uh, I mean, actually... Oh, you can still go through it. Okay, so the, the auto door opening thing, no matter what, will always go to the left. Oh, huh, that's cool. I like that. That's pretty awesome. You know, I'm kind of tempted to put a weather vane on top of here, actually, just for a little, little bit of decoration, right? It's always nice. Whoop! There we go. <laughs> oh, you'll love to see it. And here we go. Palm wood bed. Chuck it down. And spawn point set. And we're looking pretty dang good, guys. Look at that. I love that. That is a really cool looking bed. <laughs> never, be, never thought I'd be so hyped about a freaking bed. But uh, there you go, guys. There you go. Looking brilliant. All right. A little bit of lighting in there. Yeah, nice. Okay. So uh, in order to get the ocean peeps, I need to get a golfer. Right? Okay, so more often than not, the golfer is in the underground desert. So I'm going to go to the underground desert real quick. We're going to see if, I, see if we can't find him. And then we'll just sort of, I guess, TP back here. And then go from there, I guess. All right, guys. Believe it or not, we've actually got the correct NPC combo here to hopefully buy ourselves. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, wait, what? Uh, according to the wiki, it says die trader and painter when in the desert biome. Uh, which I clearly am. Happiness. Reminds me of my hometown. I like it very much. Stefano the Painter's good eyes for vividness and business. I like it, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's the... Where's the pylon? I'm real confused. What about you? No, you don't have it either. Lizard outfit. What? Huh. Does it have to be daytime? I don't know. All right, Mr. Traveling Merchant, what you got for me? Ultra bright torches, leopard skin. Yeah, okay, that's pretty crummy, to be honest with you. All right, well, it's daytime now. How about one of those pylons? No? Hmm. Okay. Clearly, there's something else at play here. Yeah, I might be in a good mood. What's it to you? What? I mean, I'm, I'm confused, man. We're in a desert biome, clearly. What's wrong? That's weird. Uh, so all I did was uh, relocate the die trader to down here, therefore removing the zoologist, and apparently that did the job. All right, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The desert pylon. fan freaking -tastic. Uh I might place it, like, here? Uh, okay, I can't because of that cactus. All right, uh, let's get rid of that, baby. All right, and that should go in now. Yay! Okay, now I can TP uh, to the forest there. Fantastic. Okay, but uh, the real reason I'm here is to go to the underground desert. Uh, but thankfully, that shouldn't be too difficult because, as you can see, we go down the trees here, 
And uh, there's underground desert right there. So it shouldn't take too long to find ourselves uh, the golfer. Well, this hasn't taken long or anything. Good sweet lord, this freaking sand is tall. Eh, I'll tell you what, guys. While we're going ahead and trying to break into this underground desert by, and we could do the comment of the day. Uh, so Electric says if you let gnomes touch sunlight, they will become petrified. And you can mine them up. And when you place them down, you will gain a luck boost near you. The effect can't stack. It doesn't show up as a buff like a campfire or heart lantern. Well, I appreciate you letting me know that. Uh, maybe what we wind up doing is going ahead and trying to get one. And uh, we try to place it like next to any fishing areas. Because I'm sure that the luck stat would affect fishing, right? You know, maybe we get an increased chance of getting treasure or crates or whatever else. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd use sticky bombs to try and break my way into an underground desert biome. But, uh... Uh, I guess weirder things have happened, right? I mean, I've taken down King Slime twice today. <laughs> Banana split? What? Dude! <laughs> An ant lion just dropped that. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a mandible blade as well. Actually, that's a good upgrade. Hey, we don't have an enchanted sword on this let's play, so I'm pretty darn stoked about this mandible blade, actually. Because uh, the mandible blade is auto-swing. Which is a very, very nice... Uh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's a very nice, pleasant surprise, if, I, uh, if I'm if i being honest. Right, there you go. Yeah, go ahead. Go. Do do, do your thing. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Uh, come on. Where's this golfer dude, huh? Where is this pesky butthead? Oh, he's there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> all right. All right. Awesome. Lawnmower. Hell yeah, I'm going to buy that. Oh, look at you. You want to take me down, do you? Come on. 110 health. Wow. You've got a lot of health, huh? Come on. Get out of here. I want another freaking banana split. Come on, man. Ah, oh, Sad days. Well, we haven't managed to find a single bit of loot in here. But we found ourselves the golfer. So, get back here. And then we get rid of the demolitionist. And we put the golfer in his place. Right? And then we uh, set our spawn point here. We have a little bit of a snooze. We go away. We come back. And then we'll be good to go. Hey, there it is. The ocean pylon. Beautiful. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And then maybe I uh, like surround it with a little bit of a build. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that. But ladies and gentlemen, finally, we have the ability to teleport between places. Yeah. The ocean pylon is just huge for this world. I'm so happy that we got that done. So, ladies and gentlemen, it might be a bit of a longer one, but uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. We're going to end it there. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating would go a long, long way. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well, if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future content. And let me know what you guys think about my ideas, uh, you know, about the right-hand side here. Doing a whole bunch of building and terraforming and just trying to make this place look that much nicer, you know? We've got our beach town going on. It's going to be a great time. We're eventually going to make a little floating island above that pond. It's going to be great. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.